Hello again, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in part five of our eight-part series, Basic Training with Photoshop Elements. One of the most fun aspects of working with a photo in a program like Photoshop Elements is adding special effects. And the program has so many tools for creating special effects. If you look under the Guided tab here at the top of the screen, you will find a whole library of guided effects. Guided effects will take you step by step through the process of creating a number of effects from some basic to color correction to working with black and white to fun edits like pictures that seem to pop right out of the screen or special edits and even photo merge. These are well worth checking out. A wonderful library and as you can see as you just kind of pass your mouse over any one of the edits you'll see the before and after options. These are very cool and well worth checking out. But there's a lot you can do in the program itself. If you look along the bottom right of the program you'll see there are a number of options here. If I click on effects you see there's a whole library of effects. Look at that. Lots and lots and lots of very cool effects. If I just double click on, for instance, this effect, you see that it will be applied to my picture. I'm going to Control Z or Command Z to undo that. There are filters, a huge library of filters also can be applied just with a simple click or two. Stylish looks and styles, many of these are applied to layers, but a large portion can also be applied to your entire photo. There are graphics you can add to your photo. But let's take a look here at filters. Now filters are available in a number of places. There is the filter library that's built right in here to the panel bin. If you go under the filter menu, you can see there are a number of filters available in submenus under that menu. But perhaps the easiest way to browse and play with filters is to go to the filter gallery. That's available here under the filter menu. Just select it. And the filter gallery has the whole library of filters. Let me just show you something. This library of filters here are all represented in the filter gallery, but instead of just kind of guessing what they'd look like in the filter gallery, you can try them all on. So for instance, if I go over here to artistic, I can apply any one of these looks simply by clicking on it. If I want to see what the color pencil filter looks like when I apply it, I just click on that. There it is with a colored pencil look and I can make adjustments right here on the screen. If I select a different filter, that will be applied. That's kind of a cool looking filter. Almost looks like a comic strip there, doesn't it? Kind of posterizes the color. Film grain, rough. You can see we got a large library here that can be applied to our picture. And it's very intuitive to apply them to your picture because you're seeing the effect right away. Pretty cool, huh? Now, although you can add one filter at a time and you can try on your filters simply by clicking on them like this, going from filter to filter, you can also double up on filters. For instance, if I like this and I want to apply another filter on top of it, I can just go down here to this listing here and I can click on add new filter and it keeps the old filter and allows me to add another filter on top of it. We'll close this and I'm just going to cancel it so none of these filters are applied and take a look at effects because effects are actually pretty cool too. Adobe has done a great job of building out effects. Some of these effects are just extraordinary and look how simple they are to apply. And they can give your photos sort of an old photo look, make it look like it's faded, make it look like it was shot in the 60s. Control Z or Command Z to try a different effect. Very, very cool and a lot of fun to play with. Anyway, join me for Part six here, we're going to look at some of the more advanced features, basic training with Photoshop Elements.